Hello, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. Yeah, I know it's been a while, been busy, six days a week, there's uh, a lot to be working, but uh, glad I have the job and I'm glad they're paying overtime, so that is a good thing. So, with some of the fruits from my labor, I've been uh, doing a little bit of purchasing of some things. I went on this 44010 of 762x54R with my buddy so we're gonna end up splitting it so they sent it to me and they did not give me the tool that is used basically a simple style can opener however if you don't have the tool which it's my understanding that the tool comes and I've ordered some crates of 880 rounds of 762x54R before that the tool will usually come with it. There's a little cutout in the crate that it sits in. If you don't have that, you will need some type of hammer and a flat blade screwdriver or chisel or something of the like. One thing that is difficult with these tools though, I don't know if it's just this tool or if it's more than one, but going around the corners is sometimes a little bit of a pain. It doesn't grab so you can go around the corner. So we'll get started here. I'm not going to go too far. Um, just enough. Probably right around to here. So I can get the lid turned back. And... Uh, goes pretty smooth when you push it forward. We'll come over here. I've already started a little section over on this other side. But these things do work pretty good for uh, storage. Now, now we're getting pretty close to our corner here. It's not wanting to to grab very well on our edge. That might be about all I get, I don't know. The Russian ones don't like to grab very well. But this one's doing pretty good actually. Too bad, I guess. We'll peel her back. Got a layer of cardboard on here. And this is how the ammo is packed. You can really smell it. Kind of smells a little musty uh, once you get it all opened up been packed for probably sometime since the 80s is my guess. This particular stuff is packed in uh, 20 round paper pouches which is no big deal. So that's really all you need to do to get the ammo out of it but if you're going to use the lid for something or use the can for something you need to remove the lid completely and uh, don't ask me how I know, but it's easier to remove the lid while there's still a bunch of weight in it. So I'm going to go ahead, go around the rest of the uh, can, and then uh, use the lid for something else. I've got one that I use to put all my cleaning stuff in. It sits right up there. Everything fits in there for uh, cleaning all my rifles and stuff like that. And I've got another one that I put uh, smaller things like ammo pouches like those in as well that I have actually on a shelf that uh, works pretty good. Well, right here is just a small little section that I've started with the screwdriver. Um, if you don't have the tool 
a screwdriver or a chisel or something else, this is a pretty good bet. Uh, and just keep it right against the edge so you're not going down into the ammo, pointing it towards like that, kind of just keep it away, and then just, it's kind of tedious and slow, but it's the only way to do it if you don't have one or a big enough can opener that'll take it off. But uh, that's just an easy way to do it. And uh, this one's almost ready to come off. So, of course, I'm going to use the tool since it's available. So this will be off here in just a sec. So the lid's off. And uh, I just pounded out the edge just to kind of flatten it out, straighten it out a little bit. Um, I don't know, I might hang it on the wall or something, just decoration on the garage or whatever. Somebody on uh, my other video opening the uh, Tokarev tin, uh, the Tokarev ammo tin said uh, hang it as a license plate on your vehicle or something, but not in this state. Uh, they require license plates on the front and rear of the vehicle to be clearly displayed, so I think I'll just keep it and ha have it hang around, but uh, if you're going to use these, and we can see on this one, I rolled uh, some duct tape over the top edge and used a pair of pliers to uh, squeeze everything down and get the sharp edges down as, as far as I could and then put some duct tape around to help protect uh, from getting poked from anything. But uh, here's uh, here it is. 440 rounds all wrapped up and packed real nice in there no uh, no little packing tag like uh, the ones you'll find with the Bulgarian uh, ammo sometimes unless this is some kind of uh, uh, code for whoever did it or whenever it was done I don't know but that's all there is uh, that little piece of cardboard that was sitting on top of all the ammo but uh, and I'm wearing gloves in this one I got a hole in this one already from opening it but I was uh, cleaning out one of my uh, Mosinagant little uh, solvent containers or whatever you want to put in it and uh, just with some mineral spirits I already cleaned up the outside uh, it was all caked in cosmoline so not too bad I guess since we got a little hole right here we can take a look at some of this stuff it's got a little silver tip on it looks a lot like Bulgarian the head stamp, we may be able to see it. A 22 and a 78. So I'm only guessing. 22 must be the Arsenal code or wherever it was made. 78, the year, possibly.